Hello there, wonderful world of YouTube. It is your girl, since you're all coming at you guys with part two of hopefully what will be my previous video where we packaged a care package slash pen pal ink exchange with my very good pen friend, Nicole. All her socials will be down below and I'll go ahead and put all her usernames to the apps and pages she's on right here. I just received my package. I went to go pick it up at the post office and oh, I just love the cute little bubblegum pink. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a sucker for pink, purple, and green, but it's green, purple, and pink in that order to be more specific. I got home from work and I was like, I need to unbox this because I can't wait to get the little inks I chose inside. Ooh, okay, so first thing I'm seeing, I believe this is the card. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side. I think it is the card because I see writing in here. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side. It's very cute. I wonder if that's washi tape or construction paper because the iridescence on this thing is so cute. I'm a sucker for that. Is it? Is it paper? Oh, it's paper. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. The next thing is the goodies we exchanged, which was the inks themselves, the little sample vials. I love that hers are all printed. Mine, I, I wrote them down and I put them over here. So I put a little swatch, I guess, I guess like a swatch card thing on mine where I put them right here. And then I wrote out the names over here on the circle thing because the little tabs I had were rectangle. But this is really nice because it makes it easy to see what it is. And then most of the time your inks are like this. All right, well, this is the Jacques Herban Amethyst de L'Oreal. This is a very beautiful purple. Like, do you guys see that little shimmer? Like, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It's like picking it up. It has like shading. It's like a purple base. And I'm look, it's like a silver glitter to me, like a silver fine, like shimmer. And like I said, it has like slight shading because you can see right here, it's where it's lighter, then hair gets darker, and then like the shimmer itself i cannot wait to ink this into a pen the next ink i chose was diamine writer's blood this is like a staple in the community i feel like a lot of people have this one i just for some reason have not purchased this i think it's like writer's blood and then there's like a like another one i think it's like ox blood that are like very popular diamine inks and this is just supposed to be like like you know like basically like blood colored this is more so what i think blood would look like once it's dried it's like a very muted dark red this is gonna be interesting i can't wait to write with this one the next one is farewell ferris wheel press stroke of midnight this one was in my to buy for a very long time i just have not gotten around to like buying it so when I saw that she had it in her collection, I was like, send me a sample, please. And again, this one also seems to have shading. It has a blue base with what looks to be like a yellowish gold glimmer uh, and shading. So you have like the lighter blue on the outside, the darker blue on the parts where there's a little bit more ink and then the shimmer pulling through. That's so cute. Then I also have Ferris Wheel, Pre Ugh. Ferris Wheel Press's Purple Jade Rabbit. This was the release they did, I believe, this year for the uh, Chinese calendar, if I'm not mistaken. I did not purchase this one, but it's been like one that I've been wanting to get. This is limited edition, so if I don't get it before it sells out, I'm just not going to have it in my collection. But it is a very beautiful like pink lavender base with a silver shimmer. Again, this one looks like there might be some slight sheening. I think that would be what it's called. Yeah, like slight sheening slash shading where you have like some areas that look more pink and then some areas that look more purple and some areas that are darker. Again, where the majority of the ink pulls. Just from the swatch alone, I think I'm going to have to add it to my collection. But we're going to go ahead and set this aside for now. And then the other one was Diamond's Night Sky. Honestly, I thought this one was going to be a little bit more blue toned from some of the, like, the swatches I've seen. But this is, like, really nice. It's like a black base with a silver shimmer. I think if they really wanted to know the night sky part, it would, multicolored shimmer would have been nice, too. But this is really stunning. I think all around I got really nice inks. That's so cute. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and oh you guys there's stickers in here oh i love paperclip i love stationery let me just Oh my god, you guys, it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh, it brings me back to my childhood. I used to love getting these things. And like you like put them on your notebook, boom, you like tape it in there. And then you open it and you feel so fancy because your name is in here, belongs to. I don't know if anybody else said that or that was just me. This is very cute. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna put this right here. The other thing I really love, which is funny because it says love, is this little paper clip. Oh my god, look at that. It has the word love on it a door and then the other one is stickers which i am a very big fan of i'm actually gonna pull my journal because i've been putting stickers on it that i get because i'm like one of those people that hoard stickers and i'm like girl you cannot be hoarding stickers your entire life well you can but i was like these are all so nice so i'm gonna see which one i want to put on here I pull that in up and then there is power in learning. But which one do I want for my notebooks? Do I want? I was like, I'm not learning anything in this notebook except learning myself, right? I'm gonna put the stack of books. The stack of books looks like a really nice addition, but I think I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. And there we go. And the beautiful sticker added to my journaling collection. The other thing I got is, I think they call this like an, a washi tape sample, which is really fun because, fun fact, I do not have any of the grid washi. And I love that she kept it within the same color family. So like, it looks like it all goes together and geometric shapes are something I really enjoy. Especially when they have like the little foiling accent like this, where it's like a little bit reflective depending on where the light is. Absolutely fun. I'm gonna put the stickers right here. Just getting a little closer to look at what I got. This is really nice. It's like a little volcano of color. Donuts are delicious. Clowns sometimes are funny. And then this one is just really cute. A little dog with a little book. I might put this on my um, inking journal, like where I keep my uh, currently inked inks i guess you could say in there and then i got some cute little notepads i think these are like oh they're different shapes oh that's nice so this is like a little four what do we call it a clover would that be a clover it comes with the little hearts and i think it's the little heart and then the little nice cardstock purple backing i have a blue one which is good for scrapbooking a neon green a highlighter yellow in orange color this kind of reminds me of the new twist vehicle that's coming out which i'm a fan of so i'm excited and hot pink all in all i really like this package i'm gonna read her letter off camera and then i'll come back oh you guys so i read the nice beautiful note that she wrote me i took the little postage stamp that she had here and i put it in my journal so i can journal about it later and i just realized something <laughs> my my pen pal note wasn't so nice I mean, not not that it wasn't nice. It just didn't elaborate a lot more. But it is my first time. So second time will be the charm when it comes to me writing that part of it. Other than that, honestly, I really, really did enjoy this package. It is so cute. I love the stickers she included. I cannot wait to put them in, collage them, put them in my little, um, what is that called? My Hobonichi Teco? There you go. My Hobonichi Weeks, actually. This I might actually use to, like, um draw down the week you know like hold its place this is so cute like i really do love this i think aside from the inks this little paper clip was my favorite and then the the stickers of course oh all right you guys thank you so much again for joining me for this video it was a pleasure getting to swap with you nikki i cannot wait to swap with you again in the future and if you guys are interested in watching what I gave her i mean assuming you guys didn't come from the first video but you want to see her reaction unboxing it i'll go ahead and link that video down below for you guys when she posts it that way you guys can see what i gave her and then her reaction to the things i gave her as well so other than that have a great day do not forget to like and subscribe and check out nikki's channel as well along with all her other social media i'll have again all those linked down below for you guys other than that i will see you guys next time